Mm, she's really good. You look like she's better than you. Ah, we'll see. We'll see now. He's, he's that position. Sometimes he's going to high. Ah, yeah, that's so. What do you think he needs to get lower? Yeah, a little bit lower. Bend your knees a little bit, yeah? Now, go on, last one, Harry. Well done, right. touch. Just a touch, lovely. Keep it up, right here. What is it like being a professional keeper for Man United? Being uh, in this club, performing at this level is, is amazing. What do you enjoy doing in training? What we are doing is great. Being goalkeeper is, for me, is the best position. In the pitch, position of responsibility so go if you think you are ready you have to take responsibility and I'm doing my thing build up from the back making myself going out taking risks and enjoying my day is how you become better what did you think when Ganacho scored the bicycle cricket? to be honest I didn't you know I didn't believe because I was far away I remember we were it was Everton away and uh, when the cross came from uh, Diogo and I saw the move of, of Ghana and I was like, what are you doing? You know, I, I couldn't believe he was caught from there. And when the ball went in, I was like, wow, I was impressed for me. The, the goal of the year is going to be difficult to, to repeat that goal again. But you have to keep pushing, and I hope he will score a few more like that. Andre, we're here in one of Manchester United's foundations projects. What do you take from, from experiences like that? Because I know you have your own foundation as well. And uh, how much do you feel you can help with your own personal story? I feel good doing this because um, I'm coming for, um, for a foundation. So um, years ago, I was like them. So when I'm talking to them and when I'm playing with them, exactly how they, they feel and how they think. So for me, doing this is something great because being here in Manchester United is something amazing for me. I'm very happy to be here. In that process to arrive here, a lot of people helped me. So I feel grateful and I think uh, it's important to give something back now. You think this season especially has been uh, even more challenging for you mentally considering uh, so many ups and downs and, and criticism and being at a club like Man United? No. No? No, because I used to pass, I used to pass through worse than this. Worse? How? Yes. Last season, mm -hmm. because people all People only remember the goalkeeper, the best goalkeeper in the Champions League last season. Yes. But the first half of the season, I was on the bench. And we forget this already, you know. Now we're not facing a good moment. I hope things will change soon, as soon as possible. But the critics are good, because in the end of the day, you have to deal with that. And it's the price to pay when you are a United goalie. It's one of the biggest clubs in the world. So when things are not going good, they have to shoot on you. And, and, as I always said, I'm ready for that, you know, and I, I wish we can turn the situation right now, but maybe it will take time, we don't know, we just have to fight and look how things are gonna, things are gonna be, but the critics for me is part of my life. So you still feel like that great goalkeeper who managed to get the Champions League final? Listen, so you want to tell me in six months, the best goalkeeper of the Champions League last season, he became the worst in the world? No. As I said in the beginning, everything is temporary. I know you'll be all right. If not today, it will be tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, it will be after tomorrow. How did you deal not only with the fact that you were arriving at a club like Man United, but also to, to fill this specific role, to help with this? You know, to play that way is not only one player, it's us. Like I said in the beginning, we, it's not an excuse as we face bad moment, injuries, important prayer went away, but we had to survive. We had to be pragmatic. We are not in our best shape to take so many risks, but we'll come back when better days will come. We'll build them from the back. When the team need that, we'll do it. At the moment, if, they, if we need to play long, we'll go long. So we just have to be pragmatic and hopefully things will become, uh, we'll get better as soon as possible. In terms of ideas, and you know the manager so well, what do you think his ideas can, can bring to the team, can still 
uh, offer to, to Manchester United in a season of, of ups and downs as, as this one? Well, every season is different. Last season they, they had a great season. But uh, the manager, I know the manager, we had a, a successful year in Ajax. We semi-final of Champions League, mm -hmm. playing brilliant from the back, like you said, wanted to play from the back. He's a good manager. You know, I, I used to, to play with him. I was one of his captains. I was one, one of his, his important players. I like the way he works. I like the way he communicates with the player. But like I said, when things are not going good, we end this together. So we win together, we lose together, and hopefully things will get uh, right as soon as possible. How do you see your, your game? And how critical are you? How are you in terms of, no, actually, technically, this, this is my game. This is where my game is. How, how do you deal with it? When I see my six months or five months here, five or six months mm -hmm. in the United, I'm not happy with myself because I used to do much more, better than what is happening now. I was in Champions League, number one. But like I said, everything is temporarily, you know, and I came here with a lot of ambition. I wanted to win everything and and things went wrong and things are not going how I want. But now we can stay positive. But if I have to speak about my season so far in United, I'm not happy because I know I can do much, much better. I've done it and I know I will do better than what is what is happening now because like I said, Football is just moment and it will change and when everything will change, we're going to become the best again. But before that, we have to be strong. We have to survive. We have to try to play our game, win games and be positive together, especially when things are not good, is where we need each other because when we are winning, it's quite easy. Everyone is happy. Nobody is talking about mistake and the rest. But when things are not good, is when we need each other. You've always been this confidence, this confident throughout your career because you moved away from home in a very young age and you faced a lot of challenges being by yourself in Barcelona and then moving to, Yaja, to, to Ajax and, and now at Man United. Yeah, I have to be confident because I... Is it related with your upbringing? Yeah, yeah? because we never lose in life. You win or you learn. So I learned a lot already. <laughs> and when I see my teammates, things are not going how we want, but I believe you will be all right. Because the quality is there. The quality is there. Otherwise, they will not be Manchester United player. We are the top in the world. To reach that stage is because we have done things good.